What's up guys, JFM here back with another video. Today I'm coming at you guys with a Let's Play. It is now episode 18, I believe, and I am ready to start on a new build. I want to get I want to get a few more builds done before the, uh, the the download goes out. So I have this planned and I have this little thing planned over here. And I think, yes, 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 Molly. Oh, you can start following us around. I think, I think it's going to be pretty exciting. So... Um, first things first, I do want to mention, if you guys missed the last episode or did not see the whole thing, have no fear. I'll go ahead and fill you guys in on what you missed. Um, I basically finished, I finished the, uh, the chicken coop. It's really cool. Actually, I did get, uh, oh gosh, I managed to get a few chickens in here, um, actually in the, in the holes. And look, if you just walk around in here. There are eggs all over the place. No, I just recently picked some up, so I only got three this time. But, um, all you gotta do, like I said, a lot of people are confused on how to get the chickens in here, and you just throw the egg into the hole. <laughs> Once you get the eggs, you just throw it into the hole. Now, obviously, oh, oh we, got, we got a baby, but I don't have a trap door to lock him in there. Well, no, actually, I don't think we'll... I think we did it. <laughs> hey! Nice! All right, so that's one for the video, but that's pretty cool. Um, we don't need you to be in here, Miss, uh... Mr. Baxter. Mr. Baxter, you can keep guard of the chickens, all right? Molly, all right. We are going to be making a barn today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, and I also did uh, spiffy up the, um, I don't know, just the build a little bit. Have a few baby chickens out here that um, I couldn't get to go inside of the coop. And, um, yeah, so I basically just extended the path and built this frame for this future barn that we're going to make. So I'm pretty excited. Let's grab some tools because we're going to get started right away. And look at all the supplies I've gathered. I planted so many trees and oh my gosh, that took forever. But I have the supplies to make this farm and it's going to be super cool. Not farm, barn. This barn is like, I would use it for horses as a stable, but because there are no horses in pocket edition uh, at the time of this recording anyways, um, Oh, yeah, and I also had to make, since the barn is so big, I had to extend this, so this isn't really where the river normally was. I just kind of, like, put grass there, and the river's really, really, uh, <laughs> the river's really, um, <laughs> a little bit under the, uh, there we go. So it's half of it, half of the river's under our, our under our, um, build here, but this shouldn't be a problem. I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, get rid of some of this dirt and, you know what, actually, no, that'll be a little bit boring. I'll do that after. I want to start on the actual building, because the building is going to be fun. So, it's going to look super bland until I start decorating it. And I think what this is basically going to be, it's just going to be a barn, right, with with a few stalls. It's going to have different stalls. I think it's going to fit, let's count, one, two, three, four, five. It's going to count... It's going to hold nine different stalls, so I guess that could be like 18 cows, depending on how many I put into a stall. I mean, it's just all just all preference. We can pick and choose once uh, once we get around to doing that, but it's going to have nine stalls, and it's going to have a second floor. It's going to have storage. Oh, gosh, dog, you're in the way. Molly, stop that. <laughs> I'm trying to place blocks here, man. Woman? <laughs> woman? Yes, that would, you would be a woman. So, basically... A little bit of an explanation on what the actual uh, thing is. And you got to get out of there. You got to get out of there, honey. Thank you. <laughs> um, we are going to be doing this in little segments. So the the barn is, I think, 13 wide and 19 long. Uh, 19 being that way. Um, not including those uh, those outside uh, logs. I'm just counting the uh, the actual founda foundation, which would be the planks. So if you're trying to replicate this, that is how big uh, the size is. And it's also, I'm making this uh, four tall so that um, I'll be able to basically have a three by three by three uh, little cabin cub cubby thingy looking thing. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to, oh gosh, come on, get out. You got to get out of the way. Missy, Missy, you made me put another hole in there. <laughs> but it's going to be looking super plain until I actually get to decorating the exterior and the interior and all of the stuff. But I have a ton of materials, so we will not need to stop at all. Oh my gosh, you really? It's never fun. Never fun to have the dogs around. They always just get in the way. It's cool to, it's cool to go on adventures with them, but when you're trying to build with them, oh my goodness. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, that's it. <laughs> you're sitting down right there. 
No more following me around. I got to get this work done. I got to get this work done for the video. We are cramped on time. We're cramped on time. All right, let's go. Let's go across here. And voila. Voila. And voila. All right, so the base, uh, the base of the farm. Very, very base of the farm is sort of completed. It doesn't look good at all, but it is sort of completed. And I do want to go ahead and just uh, fill this up. So we def we definitely still have enough uh, wooden planks to do a little bit more. Oh, and it's nighttime. We could put a bed in here, but I'm just going to go sleep in the fishers the fisherman's hut. But first things first, I want to grab um, I want to grab some of these uh spruce spruce planks because i wanted to vary uh what materials we use because i don't know it's just gonna look a lot nicer and i have used spruce and oak mainly in all of my builds so i think um keeping those two consistent like spruce uh spruce and oak planks it's gonna make all my builds kind of like i don't know match up and look nice together but i also want to make this unique so I'm not going to be using any stone in this build. I usually use a little bit of stone in my builds. But over here in this district, in this area, I don't think there's going to be any buildings that I really want to put uh, stone on. Because a barn, you really, there's no, there's no real, old, like, old-fashioned barns. I mean, maybe barns nowadays. I mean, I don't, do they even have real barns anymore? Or do they just inject cows with, like steroids <laughs> in cells in prisons for cows but um yeah this is going to be a lovely barn for the cows no worries we're not going to be imprisoning them you know this is going to well it's sort of imprisoning yeah <laughs> it's the close it's the closest thing to a lovely lovely life outdoors in uh in in the wild but unfortunately for them it's gonna be an, it's gonna be in a barn. So this is actually pretty cool. I think I've seen a few barn builds, and really a lot of the barn builds are all the same. I would like to use red wool or red stained clay, but I just don't think it's gonna end up looking. It's I don't think it's gonna end up matching what like everything else. So I want to try this in wood. If it doesn't turn out well, or, uh, like I don't know, it just if it doesn't turn out good enough for me or for you guys, um, I can always change it up off camera maybe put maybe put like red stained clay or red wool on it and we can maybe make it look like a more of a traditional like mcdonald's farm barn <laughs> or whatever but i think it should be pretty cool if not if not we can always switch it up like i said but i think a wooden a wooden farm a wooden barn i keep saying farm a wooden barn should look like i don't know more uh, it should fit. It should fit the uh, the world pretty cool. And also, I don't have any clay <laughs> or wool, so mm. that would be difficult. I don't even know if I. Oh yeah, I have a ton of flowers, so I could make the dye. But it's just a matter of like. <laughs> I don't. I don't have any wool. I don't have a sheep farm yet. So I think maybe um, if it is really necessary that I change it up, we can always uh, do it after I get a sheep farm, so that you know. <laughs> we don't have to go hunting for some sheep in a uh, random area. So basically, I'm just going to floor this up using... I'm just going to ba make a base coat, really. And I may add some different uh, styles and decorations to it. But for now, I'm just going to coat this uh, floor in a nice... Um, uh, what is it? Spruce. Spruce plank uh, finish. You know, it, It's basically... I just like the contrast between... The two. Um, although this is not going to be empty, it will have a ton of stuff on the inside, so you're not really going to be paying attention to that. I think it will look nice. Hopefully I have enough. I don't think I'm going to have enough now that I'm looking at this. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to have enough. Ooh, wow. Okay, I, I got two stacks of 64, thinking that was going to be enough. But it looks like i got to go plant some more trees, so I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not, not, not don't worry, guys. I'm not going to be doing that on camera. Oh, I, actually, I do have a ton of, I do have a ton of slabs, so I could actually just use... Nah, I'll just I'll just uh, make the other stuff off camera. We can finish this off camera, and then in episode nineteen, yeah, in episode nineteen, you guys will be able to say be able to see the completely finished uh, farm, for the most part. Farm again, again. Why do I why do I always do that? Barn. I'm making a barn. <laughs> I'm making a barn, not a farm. We've already done a farm. So yeah, that was only like half, a little bit more than half. That's pretty bad. <laughs> well, you're in like a little bit of a. You're in a little bit of a situation there. Let me help you out of there. Come on, get out of there. Okay, now sit. There we go. So now you're guarding the entrance. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So we've done that. Now let's go back to the chest and get some of our logs because this is where we're going to have some fun. So everyone knows that um, these guys have to have a ton of support beams. But 
to make the outside, like on the inside, they always have support beams and stuff like that. But the outside is going to look super bland unless I add some sort of support beams, some sort of, some sort of like support somehow. So, oh gosh, I didn't have to do that. Come on. Do I, is there a way I can get up? Oh yeah, there is. Look, I can do this. <laughs> Great. I can actually do that anywhere, but there we go. I love how it's four tall. I love how it worked out like this. So this is going to be great because we're going to have three by three, uh, like little uh, cubby things where you normally, it's like, it's like we're a stable where you'd have each individual horse would have its own like quarters. We're going to just give cows their own quarters because we don't have horses. Horses would be so cool in Pog Edition. Oh my gosh. I could only imagine. I can only imagine. <laughs> wow, that would be sweet. Uh, eventually, we're, we're bound to get them eventually, right? But, man, that would be awesome if we get them anytime soon. All right, so now we're going to make it look a little bit cooler by... Let me get... Oh, I don't have any more. Oh, well, like I, well I can show you as now. Um, let's go ahead and grab some more. I have plenty of logs in here, so we should be fine on the logs. But now I'm just going to make it look like this. And it will go higher than this. Um... So it's going to, I don't know, it's going to look nice. But I think this, along with, like, uh, some fence uh, fence windows and other type of windows, I think that will be enough to decorate the outside of this farm. Uh, or, no, I said it again. Barn. Oh, my gosh. That's so bad. Oh, I don't know why. They're not even, like, it's a barn. It's obviously a barn. It's not even, it's not even, it couldn't even be considered a farm. I don't get it. I don't get why I'm doing that, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this is just going to give it a little bit more depth because the outside was basically just a cube uh, with <laughs> a cube with regular planks. So by doing this, hopefully that spices up the outside, makes it a little bit more, um, I don't know, more realistic. Looks like it has more support. It also just varies up the textures of the... Oh, shoot, forgot completely that I had that hole there. <laughs> this actually could be something cool. We could make a basement in the farm. I did it again. Holy cow. In the barn. <laughs> and then we could have it lead out into that. And I will cover it up so that the only entrance is through the basement. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but you guys will have to let me know. Uh, because, you know, I don't really know. what if it, I don't know if it would look cool or not. Um, and then one more here. Also, I think another cool thing that I probably won't do on camera unless unless I just finish this really early, which is not looking like it was going to be the case because I don't, I haven't even started the inside of the roof yet. <laughs> but what I was thinking I could do is this. So watch this. If I, if I take this like this, I was thinking, let me, so every time, every time we have a meeting like this or like that, I could stick it out and then I can place uh, one of these on top. Although I don't know, because I kind of like, I don't know. I kind of like it without that. I kind of like it I kind of like it with the texture showing. Yeah, I like it like that. Let's let's keep that. Let's keep that. So let's let's go replace all of the uh, all of the junctions. Actually, we can't really replace that junction. Well, yeah, we can. We can do it like this because this is this is the way it would uh, be really. If we're being honest here, it would be uh, it would be like that. Hmm. I don't know. That 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 section right there is going to have something. I got to figure out how to make that work. But this it just kind of clashes weird uh with the like the different lines. So by doing that, I think it actually makes it better, which I'm glad I I'm glad I decided to do cuz that looks nice. All right, we got to grab we got to grab that little leaf out of the get it out of the way and voila. Okay, perfect. And we have some more leaves. Yep, we got to get these leaves out of the way. And we're going to have to jump place again. Ah, there we go. Perfect. 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 Uh, that's going to have, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this one, uh, just like the other one. But once we start the inside, we should be pretty, pretty good. I mean, all we got to do is make some pillars <laughs> and I'll, I'll definitely do the roof off camera. I may as well start it on camera so you guys see exactly how I'm making the roof. But in terms of actually making it, the roof is going to take a decade and a half. It's going to take a little while. So I'll just go ahead and spare you guys spare you guys some uh, some of your life, <laughs> and I'll do that off camera. So that will be that, because roofs on barns are not like normal roofs. Roofs on barns are huge. They're massive. So, well, I don't know on all barns, but specifically this one, it's going to be massive. I like I like this design where um, the wood is facing out. Definitely, I like it a lot more than uh, when it's 
cl- clashing with the like the vertical and horizontal stripes. Got to make sure I don't fall into there again. And it's almost nighttime once more. I got to hurry back to the humble abode real quick once I get these last uh, few logs switched around. Messed up on that, of course, of course, of course. Right when I uh, about to about more. Oh gosh, did it again. Oh, I could just. Uh, I could just place it like that. That's way easier. And uh, one more, and we should have them all done. Now, all right, let's head back to our little little campsite uh, on the water. Nice little campsite fishing hut on the water. We'll fall asleep, and we'll get back to what we are doing uh, in the morning when sun rises. So, so far, we've actually got some great, great progress done. This may end up... Oops, sorry, I'm hitting things around on the mic. This actually may end up being... I don't know, like a 25-ish minute episode, just because I don't want to spend too long on this build, considering that we only have a few more episodes till the next download is available. So I definitely, definitely, oh shoot, this is going to be, well, I'll do half of the inside in here. Okay, so basically what we want to do is we want to match this. See the inside how, or the outside has these little cubby stalls? We want to match them, so we want to duplicate it on the inside. So by doing... Uh, something like this, where, hold on, yeah, something like this, basically we're, we're duplicating it. So we want to put three, uh, one, two, three, do a three gap, and then go up three again. Uh, then one, two, three gap, go up one more time, and continue this little trend, and this will give us a few, a few cubbies. A few beautiful cubbies, and then oh, wh- hold on, I miss, I miscounted on one of these. Which which one of these did I miscount on? I did not miscount. So how is this? How is this wrong? Uh, I know. I know why it's wrong. <laughs> I can't, I can't put it here. Uh, forgot about that. Forgot, forgot. My bad, my bad. It's it's gonna be touching the wall there. So that this is all, this is all a mistake. <laughs> this is all a mistake. Oh goodness gracious. Uh, sometimes, sometimes. The decisions I make. All right, so we'll finish this. Uh, finish the demolition project here. One, two, three. It's going to have to be like that. And now it should be lined up. Yeah, okay, it's lined up. So we can go ahead and I think one, two, three. And this one would be the one I go up to. Yes, it is. Uh, then, oh, nope, then this one. Then this one maybe? No, 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 I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So that will give us a pretty cool little layout for our uh, stalls. So what we're going to do now is just get these placed down here. And I may as well do the loft or start the loft now because I'm not going to start this side. So I may as well start the loft. Then I'm going to put the loft uh, entrance here. So um, that's going to be a little bit different. But other than that, everything is basically almost done. So this is pretty cool. I mean, I'm just going to be replicating what I'm doing now on the other side. So I don't really feel the need to show you all of it. But I will show you most of most of what I'm doing here. Anything that you guys are not familiar with me doing, the techniques I'm using, I would love, 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 love to show you. So let's do that. And I actually may want to change that up because that's really bland. So I may I may actually want to put logs sideways or something, something right there to spice it up. But we can we can just leave it like that for now because I don't really I don't really have any plans for anything else. So let's put down our fences and fence gates. Oh, I did I don't think I got enough fence gates. That's a little bit of a embarrassing uh, thing to happen <laughs> to have happen. We can place this down. Maybe we no, we got the exact amount. Look at me go. Wow. Never mind, scratch that. We we just to scratch the embarrassment. I killed it. That was great. That was fabulous. Alright, so now we put the fence along this, but this one's gonna be a little bit different because I'm gonna have a little workstation here. There's gonna be a workstation here. It's gonna be pretty cool. Uh so let's bring this across here. Um, and uh, this is going to be a little bit weird, but basically I gotta cap these off and oops, didn't mean to place that guy there. Come on, come back to me. Um what I'm going to do now is just, I'm going to, yeah, this is going to be a little bit easier, uh, placing them like that. It's going to be a lot easier than jumping up and reaching over the fence. Uh, we got to open up this. We may as well leave all these gates open for now because there are no cows to escape just yet. So we can go ahead and put them right up here. So this is just going to give, you know, the cows can mingle. The cows can chat if they want to. Um, because they're going to be able to see each other. And this pillar will go across to the other side, so it gives it that uh, that nice barn feeling. But I'll just go ahead and 
I guess. I guess I can continue working on that here. So we can do that and that. That looks very, very nice so far. So we have all these individual stalls where we can put a little bit of water in some or something like that. But I think what would be pretty cool is to uh, have like a, uh, a little window in the back um, for these guys just because. And maybe, maybe I could make it three wide. We could try. We could try. Let's go outside or let's let's go outside um, and check this out. I'm going to put this one. I'll make this one three wide. Um, and we can see which one looks nicer and which one we want to do. Maybe only a few of them have windows. That could be a cool idea. Maybe we give some some cows that get uh, dizzy inside. All right, let's take a look. I don't know. I actually like it more without the windows, to be honest. We can we can put a window on a few, uh, but for the time being, I'm just going to keep it windowless because I think it looks great, windowless. We can also decorate this with, like, carpets and stuff. I'm really looking forward to getting uh, my sheep farm running up. Um, once I think of a plan for a sheep farm or something to do uh, that looks cool involving the harvesting of sheep wool. <laughs> but once I get something going to start, uh, you know, gathering wool, I think adding wool to some of my builds would be super, super fun. All right. So now what we can do is we can grab a few uh, stairs. We don't have any, but we have plenty of things to make the stairs with. So let's go ahead and grab all of the planks. And make a few, let's just make slabs instead of stairs. Slab, slab, slabs, because it's always fun. So let's put the slabs in, and we are going to have some fun making a spiral staircase in the back corner. So like I said, I'll continue all of this off camera, because we are already 20, a little bit over 20-something minutes in. So I definitely don't want to keep you guys for too long, because, <laughs> because, I don't know. It's just, I don't know, I just don't want to. So um, we can work on that. And I think every single one of these, it should have it should have a partner. Can we get a partner in here? Can't get a partner in there. All right, we're going to put a partner in here now. <laughs> can we get a partner now? Yeah, we can. Okay, so let's put that. So it's basically, this is just going to be a little bit of a spiral staircase. And what we're going to make it... Uh, based around, I guess, is this. So this is going to take us up to the, what would it be? It would be the, oh, whoops, did that wrong. Did that way wrong. All right, um, let's see what we got here. Uh, it needs to be there and then here. And then there and then here. And then, oh, this is perfect. And then it's going to take me up to what is going to be the top floor. And I think that will actually work. Yes, it will. Um, I don't think I can place one here. Can I place one there? Is that going to stop me? Yeah, I think it's going to stop me. So this would be the level for the top floor. Or the, uh, the I don't know, the what is it, whatever floor it is. But I think I'll only, huh, I'll only have it go from, let's see. I want it to go across the way here. So let's go ahead and go across the, let's go across the way with it. And is that looking normal? Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so let's go across the way with this. All the way across. Yes, please. Can you place it? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love that Mon Minecraft Pog Edition added this feature where you can just, like, place off the edge. Oh, it's so useful. All right, so we can do that. And then I don't want to put the, uh, the I don't want to have an attic on this side just because I think it'll be a little bit more dynamic. Oh, and I ran out of logs. But I will uh, continue the, oh, shoot. Well, I may as well go get more logs, and we can test out the spiral staircase once I do so. I think it's about to be nighttime again, but we will end off the episode in just a minute here. Let's grab a few more logs. Oh, we may as well... Well, you can just light it up and keep working, because I don't think any mobs are going to come get me if it's all lit up. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? All right, so we'll put these guys down, and we, we will uh, just put... I guess we can put a guy... Put a torch guy, put a nice torch guy on every single pillar. So, yeah, let's check it out. Oh, the spiral staircase looks wonderful. So if we go up the spiral staircase, we can go ahead and get out our uh, trunks, logs, trunks, whatever you want to call them. We can place that guy here. And the wall, this wall will continue up. It'll keep going up, the uh, that one. But let's see. We can do this now. Oh, of course, the one I make the most extravagant sound effect on doesn't work. All right, so I think having that go out there and then having it go over here, just a few would be a good idea. So let's do this. 
And then we can go out to here, maybe? Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. Oh, I can just grab it off the top. Wonderful. And I think, yeah, off to here would be perfectly fine. Um, I will have to get a few more of the, of the thingy-majiggies, the slabs. But basically... This will be this will be the loft. Oh, and I need to go back to get more fences anyway, so this is perfectly fine. We'll go grab a few more slabs, then we'll grab uh, a few more fences, and then we'll call it an episode because this has been super, super great so far. So I'll try to continue off camera, and we may end up doing a little bit next episode because we didn't get as much as I planned on getting done <laughs> today. Uh, but have no fear, we, it should come back pretty soon. So basically, this is just going to give it a varied look where the back is going to be covered, but the front isn't. So it's going to be like a nice open, open high ceiling on some parts and then, in the, and then a kind of smaller ceiling on other parts, which I think is going to be a beautiful feature, a beautiful feature, which I think is going to be great. Great looking feature. All right, so we can place down the rest of our fences here uh, like so along our little path we created. So this will be the upstairs. Now, like I said, the wall will continue going up, and we may as well uh, continue it up so we can get a little bit of a visualization for you guys. I'll just bring it up two because the roof will not actually permit this. I'll just go up one. Yeah, because the roof, the roof will not allow me to go up higher than that. So I'll just go one because the way I'm going to build the roof, it's going to be a little bit weird. I'll just go up one around, and then you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about, about this being pretty cool. This being this is being pretty cool. So it's going to be a loft area where I'll be able to put a bed, maybe a few haystacks, just something to make it look nice. So basically, this is where it's going to be closed off, and I can continue here because um, it, it will actually continue along this way as well. So it's going to be pretty, pretty cool. Um, we can continue on up this way. And around the whole uh, barn. So we actually got a lot of building done this episode. It may not seem like a lot, but this is the most blocks I've placed probably in a single episode ever on any one of my series. This is crazy. <laughs> I mean, besides the live stream, um, which was doesn't really count as a YouTube video, it was more of a the live a live stream. <laughs> but this was probably the most I've gotten done in one episode. Look how far we are on a barn. Now, what I'm gonna do is I could start I could start the roof to show you guys how I'm gonna do it, and um, and then we can go from there, and I'll do the rest. Like I said, off camera, um, alone in my alone in my free time, in my free time. But basically. I want to make the roof out of dark oak because, like I said, I mean, it's going to be an all wooden barn just because I think it's going to be unique that way. I don't think I don't think too many people have done a barn like this, although I could be mistaken because basically every barn you every barn you see really is the same design as this with the cubbies. Um, but so this is good chance something like this has been made, but hopefully no one's made it with the color scheme I'm making it with. If so. That's really unlucky. <laughs> if so, it's really unlucky because then I'd just be like, I don't know. But every, I know a lot of people that, that every basically everyone that makes a barn, um, something like this, it, it's basically the inside would be something like this and the roof would be something like this. I'm going to use these, uh, these guys. So I'm going to use stairs to go uh, along the side here. And I don't think I can it out any uh, other way. It's going to go over, but I'm going to go stairs like this, and I'll probably go up three or four, and then I'll start using slabs so it looks like an arched ceiling, so it's steep in the beginning, and then not so steep at the end. I think it's going to be pretty cool, and hopefully it works out well. So I like the contrast. I love, I love, I love the contrast, and I will, like I said, work on this off camera so you guys don't have to uh, sit and watch me uh, make a roof for five hours because that's how long this roof could possibly take. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please go ahead and drop a like below. I will talk to you all later in the next episode of the Let's Play or whatever video you decide you want to watch on my channel if you do choose to watch another video on my channel after this. I hope you guys did enjoy. I will talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.